Hello, fabulous Scorpio. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of November 2014, Love Focus. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. This month where it comes to love, there are so many important things taking place in your sky. And I did mention this last month as well. This is an important month where it comes to love. You have got a full moon taking place in your opposite sign. Now, this happens about once a year, usually happens once a year, and this is yours. Full moon, opposite sign. And when there is a full moon in your opposite sign, regardless of how that full moon is placed, regardless of how it's speaking to other power players in the sky, it is important where it comes to love it represents developments and it represents deeper understandings in love as well. So what you have here now is in the first part of the month, you've got, in addition to, as I spoke about in the overview, you've got so much energy taking place into you an understanding of who you are, what's important to you, what matters to you in your heart of hearts. All of that is going to continue to play out in the context of this particular full moon. And so emotions are really heightened at this time. And you are really coming to an understanding of what you want in partnership, but it's coming from a place of clarity and understanding as to who you are. So we've got several key things taking place. We have got a full moon happening in your opposite sign. This full moon is speaking in supreme harmony with Mars and Pluto. Both these planets are your ruling planets. Mars is your ancient ruler. Pluto is your modern ruler. What we also have happening, like if you just look at this, the full moon in your opposite sign speaking in supreme harmony with these placements and these placements, Mars and Pluto being so important to you, that has change written all over it, but change that you like, change that empowers you, change that makes you feel like you are clear as to what you want, as to who you are, change that says, I understand how to get what I want, to get to the root of what I want, and I am going to do it, I'm going to take action. So there's an element here of you feeling blessed, you feeling in control, yes, but you feeling like you're moving in a very positive direction and that things are transforming from the inside out in a direction that is real, that is free of the superfluous and free of the superficial. But the other thing that is taking place with this particular full moon is that it is standing across the sky from Venus in your sign. So throughout this month, we've got Venus moving through your sign or for the better part of the month, rather, we've got Venus moving through your sign. Venus moving through your sign is always good for love, always, <laughs> because it does speak to, um, it, it speaks to you being attractive. It speaks to you being more charming than normal or being perceived as more charming. And it speaks to um, you having a certain attraction to you. If you look at Venus in um, art, right, especially art from the Renaissance, um, she's always kind of just laying back and good things are happening to her. Good things are coming to her. Love is being drawn to her. Pleasure is being drawn to her. She's not a very active principle, right? She's about receiving and knowing that you are worthy to receive. And so when Venus moves through your sign, you have a way of just attracting love. You have a way of accepting, receiving nice things, which includes love and attention. And you see things within yourself that you find lovable as well. So this is good for love, but you've got Venus standing across the sky from this particular full moon. And what I have found with um, full moons happening across the sky from Venus, what, what astrologers call an opposition to Venus is, this particular configuration um, can indicate sometimes a feeling that what you want in love is far, that there's a distance, that maybe you understand what needs to happen, what work needs to happen, what understandings need to happen. If you are going to move yourself towards the type of love that you desire, but this is actually a moment where you see where you actually are, where you say, okay, this is where I am and there's a ways to go. Yes, 
but at least now I can see where I am and where it is that I desire to go, where it is that I want to go. So all of these are themes that would be arising for you now at around um, this particular full moon in the first part of the month. So you put this together, this very potent, very important full moon, positive changes. And the changes are facilitated by conversation. The changes are facilitated by an understanding, a deepening understanding of who you really are, but also an understanding of what you still desire is going to be a part of this. But ultimately, as I said, Mars and Pluto in supreme harmony tells me that you are happy, that you like the changes that are taking place. Here's the thing that's also taking place, which, which would speak to love for you as well. And there's many actually. One is the fact that Venus, the goddess of love, will be meeting Saturn in your sign shortly after this full moon. Venus will meet Saturn in your sign. Now that's reality check right there. That is reality check and hard choices and decisions of love based on a mature perspective. But what we also have happening this month is the part of the sky that has to do with romance for you. Over the course of this decade, uh, for the better part of this decade, in some cases into the next and another case, we've got Neptune and Chiron for nice long stays in the part of the sky that has to do with romance for you, that has to do with the feelings of love and flirtation. And what we have happening there is Neptune and Chiron standing still and going direct after being retrograde for months. And so Chiron and Neptune standing still in the sky and then going direct in this part of the sky, just as it sounds whatever has felt like it has come to a standstill now will begin to move forward you put all this together and it suggests an important month for you where it comes to love lots of activity where it comes to love as well it does suggest that you are getting some powerful insights yes but also making very purposeful changes that move you towards greater love and a love that is more real and you feeling transformed because of love, because of attraction, and by seeing the things within you that are lovable. And you feeling like love is finally moving forward where maybe it has felt a little bit stagnant. Those of you in an established bond are likely to experience this full moon most strongly. This particular full moon does suggest that you have a key conversation with your partner that um, allows both of you to make changes that both of you feel good about, allows you to feel a certain amount of strength, allows you to feel that yes, maybe things aren't as ideal as you'd like, but hey, we have an action plan to experience more love, to experience more bonding, to move towards um, a relationship that feels closer to the ideal that you both want. I see that's the energy primarily playing out, but it does look like your partner is going to be a major area of focus. And for some of you out there, you may just get good news related to a partner. Um, there may be changes in your partner's life that lead to a positive change for both of you as a result. For those of you who are um, also in an established bond, I do have to say a very small percentage of you there may be a small percentage of you who decide to end a bond that is possible but it looks very amicable if that is the case it looks like it's been a long time coming it it won't be any kind of surprise to either of you and it looks like um like like there's it's a very positive turn it looks like it's not necessarily that it's gut-wrenching or anything like that no it just feels like you know what it's time now we're ready to move forward and thanks so much but I'm ready to move in a different direction now. Let's bring this to a close that feels uh, respectful. And it feels like something within you knows that you're ready for the next thing, that that's the change that you most desire, that that is the transformation, is about moving on from this relationship. Again, I think that's a very small percentage of you. And if that is the case, it's not going to be a surprise. It's been a long time coming if that is the case for you. And it feels very organic and it feels very right. 
those of you who have somebody sort of in your sphere, I do think that the move of Neptune and Chiron is going to speak very strongly to you. Um, but again, full moon and opposite sign, regardless of your romantic situation, uh, your status, um, something happens with somebody else. <laughs> it isn't just that, um, you know, everything is sort of like a dream or um, as Neptune can sometimes feel, but um, it is that you're having some sort of interaction with another person. You are looking at this person and thinking, can this be something longer term? Can this be something I could walk for an extended period of time? What is it that this uh, may play out, may end up being? So all of these end up being things that you are considering and things that you are looking at as well. But the main focus, I do think, if you have somebody in your sphere, this is about you looking at them more clearly. This is about you saying, okay, I'm accepting the reality of who you really are. That's what it really comes down to. And there's a strong possibility as well with Venus meeting Saturn in your sign that the reality you see is not necessarily about them, but it's about you. It's you realizing how you've been behaving and you deciding that if you really want to experience something more with this person that you're dating or you're getting to know, then you are going to have to make some adjustments that make that pathway clearer. You are going to have to understand how what's been happening within you, any defense mechanisms or otherwise that might be getting in the way of you getting closer to this person. And so some of that reality check that comes about may very well be with you. However, for some of you out there, it may be that, whoa, this is who you are. <laughs> okay. I didn't expect that. That may very well be the case for some of you because that's how Neptune likes to do things. Um, with Neptune, sometimes we see what it is that we want to see instead of what actually is there. This is going to be your chance to see the beauty and the reality of who this person is that you're getting to know. Those of you who are open to love, um, there's going to be love. <laughs> I mean, at the very least, there'll be an attraction at the very, very least, but it looks empowering. As I said, again, Venus is standing across this full moon. So it may feel like the love that you want is far. However, you feel empowered by the choices you feel empowered by developments. And you do feel that as a result of whether it's flirtations, whether it's an interaction, when there's a full moon in your opposite sign, the universe has a way of presenting at least one person so that you can learn some of these lessons more deeply. But it does look like you are appreciating the lessons, you are embracing the lessons, and you are uh, coming to see something about yourself that you can now let go of as part of moving towards greater love and being more available to love as well. One thing is for sure though, it's a big month for you and love. It's a big month in romance. It's a big month in understanding what you're going for. And it's a big month in you understanding that you deserve to be close to another person to be known deeply by another person and to know someone else. It's a month for you to appreciate the blessings that being in a relationship and a partnership can bring. Whether you find yourself in a relationship now or not, this cosmic climate is all about your willingness and you seeing the joy of being open to greater love than you have known before.